All right, so in this video, I'm going to be taking a look back at the infamous H3 Bill Burr interview. I'm sure everybody remembers this, but it's interesting to look back on it, knowing where the H3 podcast is at now and the kind of impact this interview had on Ethan. I mean, this was a huge reality check for him. You know, he's going from making videos to podcasting, and he admits it wasn't going as well as he would have liked it to. People didn't think he's the best interviewer, and people thought he should have just stuck to making videos. So it sounded like that was kind of getting to him. And then he did the Bill Burr podcast, and he just cracked under the pressure. You know, that was kind of a make or break moment for him because Bill's a pretty big guest for them and Ethan's a huge fan of his he keeps talking about how much he loves him and how much he listens to the podcast and everything so there's a lot of pressure on this but there's really no chance this was going to go well because Ethan you know I think most of the guests they had on the podcast before this they're kind of friends with or they're like YouTubers they interacted with but with Bill I think this was their first time meeting each other and I don't think Bill had any idea who Ethan was and he's obviously not the easiest person to interview, especially if you're a nervous wreck like Ethan and you talk about how nervous you are. It's probably not going to end up going well. You know what I mean? If yeah. you went to, to whatever Comic Con of right. podcasting, would you be nervous? Yes. All I'm right. Well, you're, well, you're, well, you're, you're talking person. to a nervous I'm, guy. I'm, a ner I'm so neurotic. I am nervous. I'm nervous right now. Okay. Very nervous. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help. How do, you, how do you, was there ever, <laughs> no, trust me, I'm, I'm on edge. <laughs> Was there a you point though? Relaxed. Yeah. Thank you. God, okay, keep it together. <laughs> so this podcast was just set up to be a disaster. You know, Ethan was way in over his head here, and some of his fans could even see this coming. Like, here's a comment on his subreddit about it before the interview. They said, "I'm honestly kind of worried for Ethan's sake, since Bill's an actual comedian and he doesn't pull his punches. Like, I could see Bill make one or two jokes towards Ethan, and then Ethan not knowing how to handle them." But at least Ethan isn't the only one that had an awkward podcast with Bill Burr. Obviously, Theo Vaughn did as well. They both actually talked about it on Theo's podcast, and Ethan admitted that this Bill Burr interview was a life-changing moment for him. Yeah, we're talking about, oh, welcome to the Bill Burr recovery group. Yeah, I went into therapy after that episode. I'm not did even you really. I'm not even being kidding. I mean, I, w I, I was having a depressive episode for a long time right and i had these antidepressants next to my bed mm -hmm. for a long time and uh and that, you were taking them no i hadn't decided okay. to take them yet i was uh hesitant yes. yeah and after that episode with bill burr i came home and i that's when i started taking antipress antidepressants and i went to therapy wow it was soul crushing my my fans were i don't know fans but audience were very harsh as an interviewer, I felt like a, a failure. It was just off. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it didn't feel that bad, but it was the reaction, my, the audience reaction to it afterwards. I mean, I knew I had goofed up and that it was a sh not the best interview. And I was such a big fan of Bill Burr, obviously, who isn't, yeah. he's, he's a legend. And uh, you just, in your mind, have high hopes that, that uh, you'll be able to um, yeah, that I, just felt I just it felt like a rock bottom for me because I, I was having a hard time with the podcast and interviews in general and that for me was just kind of like the culmination of a lot of a oh, lot of like, stress so I think there's just too much pressure on this interview because also around this time he was getting some shit from his fans because he stopped posting on his main channel he took like a three month break and then he returned with an ad for some mobile game that was like the whole video and his fans are upset about that because a lot of people were just fans of his main channel videos and they didn't really care for the podcast and even Ethan said he was struggling with the podcast so then when Bill Burr agrees to do an interview he's probably like alright this is where I'm gonna turn things around you know this is a big time guest for him and Ethan's a big fan of his so he's probably thinking like oh i listen to this guy's podcast all the time i understand his style of humor he's gonna come in here we're gonna have a good time and laugh together but instead it just did not go very well to say the least and a lot of his fans are like all right this guy is a terrible interviewer and it just broke ethan but it sounded like he thinks this is something that needed to happen in a way because he says going to therapy and taking antidepressants is like one of the best things to happen to him so in hindsight though does it almost feel like it was it, it was it was supposed to happen like it was like oh i needed something that yeah. kind of made me look at stuff or just gave me like a moment to reflect well i definitely needed something to push me because taking antidepressants going to therapy was like the best choice i ever made for me and my family and professionally too i mean it's made everything better really so i mean if it wasn't that it would be something else but um but that was like a little bit of somehow it was part of a catalyst. It was it was a fuse Definitely. lighter. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it was it was that. And then also Ethan talked a little bit about why it's so difficult to interview Bill Burr. He is unlike anyone else I've ever interviewed because 
because he is because he's not willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? And he will he will expose any chinks in your armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for him, that's comedy, right? Right. And for he's going to make comedy, a funny yeah. moment out of it. Right. But for me, I'm like, oh, shit, dude, my fragile ego. So I feel like at the time, his fans that weren't really into the podcast were probably waiting for something like this to happen, you know, waiting for Ethan to be humbled because a lot of them were saying Ethan's not very good at interviewing and they didn't think him and Ela were good in a podcast format and it was stupid for them to be choosing podcasting over videos, YouTube videos, you know, like what made them. So I think fans were waiting to be like, this is why you should stick to YouTube videos. You guys just aren't cut out for podcasts. And the Bill Burr interview is a perfect example of this and also this is probably one of the first guests that ethan had on who doesn't really care who he is you know he's just there he doesn't care about making ethan comfortable he's not gonna make it easy for him if ethan screws up he's gonna make fun of him so a lot of people wanted to see how ethan would react to that and obviously he didn't react very well but it's funny because in the beginning of this podcast ethan brings up how he thinks bullies are important like it's not good to just coddle children all the time sometimes it's good to have some adversity you know you can go on youtube and the next thing you know the bully's crying for some reason like right. everyone <laughs> said that do you think i feel like <laughs> bully's almost important in a way isn't it like you gotta allow kids to give each other shit in a sense i mean you can't coddle uh, kids too much i don't think as a parent you ever allow it sure you know, it's it's something, though. But, I mean, I know that there's, like, uh, like I have a daughter, and, and I want her to take some MMA. So it's just perfect that he says this at the beginning of the podcast, and then he gets made fun of him a little bit, and it completely destroys him and makes him realize he needs to go on antidepressants and go to therapy, which I guess bullying did work in a way because he said that needed to happen, and it's, like, one of the best things to happen to him, so... I guess he's kind of right here. I don't know. But obviously, he wouldn't be saying this anymore. You know, this is more of an anti-SJW take. And I'm sure this interview is part of the reason why he started to shift his content away from anti-SJW content. You know, he used to talk about people are too soft and too sensitive and everything. And he had more edgy shock humor, like his classic N-word bit. So he did not care about offending people. I mean, that was like part of his comedy. But then he got offended. You know, people made fun of him a little bit and he couldn't take it. So then he had to rethink everything pretty much. All right, so let's get back to the interview here. This is a good example of what was wrong with this podcast, like why Ethan did such a bad job, because Bill's making a joke about how his daughter's taking MMA and how like, if some guy ever tried to mess with her, she'd break his arm. He's like, yeah, that's an erection killer right there. And he's laughing at it. You know, Ela's laughing. It's a funny joke. And Ethan's just sitting there like, what's the next question? What should I say to this? What? And then he asks something and Bill's just like, what are you talking about, dude? A guy's going to try to gorilla his way in and mm -hmm. try to hold you down or whatever and then all of a sudden he's you know he's tapping out you blow out his elbow mm. and uh, that's an erection killer right there man <laughs> you blow out the elbow <laughs> As a, um, I think that's slang for the arm bar I think it's called the erection killer blow out the old uh, <laughs> see you, that's part of I feel like that's a new thing you're already worried about your daughter being assaulted you know how old your daughter I don't think that is I think that's you you projecting your ocd on me mm. Mm. it's uh oh well, you're you, you're talking about you know you want your your two-year-old daughter to get krav maga so she can knife a dude's neck yeah but i mean that's like it's not like you know that didn't ex it was not like the adult assault started in 2014 i yeah. mean like stuff like that is no, but what has always happened and uh and then also, you know, it gives you, like, confidence. So you could tell he just got in his own head. You know, this is, like, still in the beginning. And, you know, he already said a couple of things that Bill didn't fully agree with him on, like the whole bullying thing and then this thing about his daughter taking the class and, like, why she's doing it and everything. So that definitely threw him off. And then he was also, like, making jokes, and Bill would not laugh at him at all. It was hilarious because Ela was laughing at everything Bill said. Like, she was looking at him like she was in love with him. And then whenever Ethan would chime in, it would just be silent. Uh, um, I know I, I, I had that. a great time, <laughs> had a great time doing that. I need to get a shirt that says I bought this dog. <laughs> yeah. And also Bill called Ethan out for being like really negative the whole podcast. And I think Ethan figured Bill would be into that kind of thing. You know, like Bill's always just ranting about stuff he hates. But him and Ethan just had no chemistry. And Ethan was even too negative for Bill. Like they're talking about this dog whisper show. And Ethan's like, does that guy actually know what he's doing? And Bill's like, yeah, I think so. I mean, he's been doing it forever and it seems to be working. It's just like, no, this guy's been, <laughs> been working with also, dogs forever. Does he even know anything? I also wonder, does he oh. just pretend like he knows? And then we believe him. You know what I mean? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, you're, you're right. You're really. You're, you're I mean, he's doing this. I mean, how much? What does that do? 
Well, I, I think the guy knows what he's doing. Okay. With this. Right. He got a TV Fair show. Enough. There's people he did, <laughs> but, he but, worked with a lot you know. of famous people's dogs. No famous people got eaten by dogs. So I would right. say, <laughs> you know, on some level, There's he must have known. That's, yeah. yeah. You're a really cynical guy, man. I that, thought that, you were that, down. That is a lot. That is a lot for me to say that. I like, thought you're you were like, down, but apparently I'm cynical even to Bill Burr. Shit. But you're not. You know what? You're not as cynical as people think. Like I listen to your podcast a lot, and you are. You're a very optimistic, fair guy. There's and also, Ethan keeps talking about how much he listens to Bill's podcast and how great it is, and how great Bill is, and everything. Great, great, greatest, Bill Burr. Oh, Jesus. I do mean that, by the way. I know it makes you uncomfortable. It but, does. You know. <laughs> One great was bad enough. <laughs> does it? But but you know that. Like, I like being appreciated. Yeah. Okay. Just say Tone it back down. with the person I, I appreciate. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Back with He's the person. He's worth the money. <laughs> okay. And by this point, Bill could tell Ethan was struggling, so he was just having fun with it, and he was not giving him any slack. You know, if Ethan screwed up, he would call him out for it. Oh, it seems like you're in love with your daughter, hearing you talk about her on the podcast. Jesus yep. Christ. Well, you're pretty perceptive. You take a care about well, your own I, child. Listen, more than that, okay? Because, again, you, you're this character. You uh, gush. You gush over your daughter. Not everyone gushes. Did your dad gush over you? And also a big problem with Ethan is he's treating this too much of, like, just a straight interview, which he's not very good at. Like this comment says, this feels like a child asking someone questions on career day. And, you know, I don't think Bill really cares for this either. You know, I think he'd rather just rant about whatever or just, like, goof around with somebody. Whew. All right. I don't know why that got so <laughs> flat uh, on my part. Tell me about uh, all things comedy. I don't know. You say I'm nervous. I'm sweating here. I'm just going to let you sit. Man, it's yeah, I know you are. You don't have you to got, save you, me. You've got to push through to the other side. It's no, I great. know, but you don't, you don't, don't have great. to save okay. me. You're all sweaty. You're touching. Like... Dude, if you were you're a right? lever right okay? now, if you were a lever on the other team, I'd have to come out and check you for Vaseline or something. You've touched your hair and your brill a little too many times. He's doctoring the ball. And then towards the end of this, Ethan starts pulling up YouTube videos that he thinks Bill will find funny. And Bill laughs at a couple of them. But then he's like, all right, dude, you're just into some weird stuff. So Ethan turns it off. And then he starts talking about the Philadelphia incident, which Bill does not want to hear about. He's like, really, you're going to go into this now? And like Bill's probably like half joking, but Ethan, he's just taking everything so personal. He can't even handle it at this point. Like, it'd be good if he's gotten like some back and forth going, like if he made fun of Bill a little bit, but he just has nothing. I just keep well petting her. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah this is creepy, very, very dude. You watch creepy shit. Me. Well, this, this is good stuff. Like, I mean, you know. That's stuff that we've made videos about. Good care. So, I mean, you're very protective of yeah. your hair. What else is going on in the world? <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you about this. Um, this is one of the first times I heard about you. I was in college, I think, at the time. It was when you were getting booed by thousands oh, God, of people I was, I was in hoping Philly. You were, I was like, when you said I, my favorite you YouTube video, I was like, oh, God, not the Philly thing again. Mm -hmm. And then you did the Sherry's Berries. I was like, I love this podcast. <laughs> now I hate you. Oh, no. I love, oh, what I can I do? I love that. I'm joking. I'm Okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, no. But do well, you? But, but, no. no, I'm not gonna. I'm All not gonna ask are, you. Were bullet, and you've been booed before. <laughs> you've you've talked about this a lot. No, but I go ahead. Uh, let's well, do now, it. Well, let's now, do it. Uh, what frankly, the I like making you. Know, I, I like, like making you. It. I like making you uncomfortable. <laughs> well, what you am I supposed thing. to? Well, what am I? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you yeah. Know you and now, what do you want me to be? <laughs> well, what was going through your head, Bill, when you're getting booed by all those people? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't remember. It was what was uh, going through your head? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is going to end up on let's YouTube. Yeah, this is live. This is going to end up on YouTube. Is what I was what I was thinking. Oh, okay. and, and so they talk about that a little bit. Ethan tries pulling up the video and he plays it for like five seconds. He's like, all right, never mind. We, we get the point here because you could tell Bill wasn't really that into it. And then this is how the podcast wrapped up. And this is pretty much the end. The great, great. This is how you turn it around. This is how you turn it around. Uh, where I made you uncomfortable. Now you fucking sit here and compliment me. I almost made it through without making an ass of myself. I got so close. What are you talking about? I had a great time. I did, too. I really did. I hope you did. I'm worried about you. I you, did. Thank God I, you got, I'm playing wait. it up. I'm playing it up. All right. But I'm, playing, the, I'm trying to be funny, but... Uh, we are all I, worried about him. Oh, it's my uh, God. <laughs> now it got real. It's very... We have that dog, no, man. You got something yeah. to live for, right? <laughs> so that was pretty much it. And Bill actually did go back on the podcast. And Ethan said Bill reached out to him. He wanted to do it again. 
So, you know, Ethan kind of did redeem himself. The podcast was a lot better, and it seemed like Bill didn't mind the first one that much. I mean, he probably just thought the whole thing was funny. He probably didn't care. But this obviously had a huge impact on Ethan, and it's hilarious. Like, Bill didn't even know who he was. This was, like, nothing to him. He goes in there, talks for an hour, leaves. He's like, oh, that guy was kind of weird. And then Ethan, this was, like, just a earth-shattering moment for him. He didn't know what to do after this. All right, so that's about it here. If you like this video, make sure you go check out my Patreon. I have a bunch of videos like this. You know, I have one about Bill Burr and Brian Redman fighting on the Joe Rogan experience. And also there's another video about this weird argument that Joe and Amy Schumer had in his last podcast she was on. And that might have been the reason why. But then at the end of it, they did some weird baby talk thing to make up. So if you want to see any of that, make sure you go check it out. And then make sure to leave me a comment here. Let me know what you think about all this. Then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.